Good morning from Manila here in the Philippines. Guys, behind me, we have a very special guest. His name is Roy. Hey. Hey, hey brother. How are you? Good? Oh, Kamusta Ka. That's how you say it, right? Kamusta Ka. <laughs> um, anyways, Roy is a very special guest because uh, for the past six or so months, he's actually been working uh, on the team, doing all the back end things, editing videos. Um, doing all kinds of things, you know, there's a lot of things that actually go into fi uh, filming a video, editing it, publishing it, and uh, Roy helps me out uh, in doing that. So we're going to be exploring Manila at the moment, um, or all of today. We're currently in the, this is the uh, Chinese area, you said, yeah, this is Chinatown? Chinatown. Yeah. yeah, it's really beautiful, you can see like all the, uh, the different sculptures and whatnot, but we're going to be exploring today, uh, eating some delicious food, getting some drinks, buying some things. Uh, who knows what we get up to, but we'll bring you all along for the journey. Tarana! Tarana, yeah. Am I saying That's that special. right? Tarana! Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> so there's plenty of really famous uh, restaurants in this Chinatown area. We have this one here that's featured on CNN Travel. We well, you know what? It may be featured on the Luke Demand Travel Show. Um, but this is a line. This is just for takeout. So um, they're not even eating in. So we're going to actually go in and uh, line up for the different line and see how long the wait is. We can just go in, right? Yeah. So like, it's so busy. That's just for the line of like takeout. So let's um. Oh my! I can see in the mirrors the amount of people that are here. How far up does it go? We'll wait for Roy. Wait for the expo. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, it's not that. It's just, that's the rest eating area. So it's not. It's just this. These people. Huh? I think. Yeah, good. Certainly. Have you eaten here before? No. Yeah. Yeah. If it's featured in CNN, then it must be pretty good. All right, we waited about five minutes and there was no progress in the line whatsoever. It was so hot up there. Look how much I'm sweating. Um, it was like a hot box. Everybody just waiting for a table really. Oh, the fresh air, that's nice. But hello, look, hello, hello, how are you? Hi. Look how long the line is, that is just crazy. But we're gonna maybe uh, go and search for some street food where there's not a line. You know, the food here is all good. It may not be CNN approved, Wow, but if the food is good at like a street food place, it will be Luke Demand approved. So let's, uh, oh, these guys are vlogging as well. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what we come across. Oh, look at this. So you're saying this is dirty ice cream? Yeah, dirty ice cream. Is it safe to eat? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. What flavors do you have? He has. Avocado cheese. Oh, so it's. Avocado cheese. Is that cheese? Yeah, cheese. Cheese flavor. Yeah. Really? There, there's a bit. There's bits of cheese there. May laman yan ko I just got hugged by a kid. Hello. <laughs> when what flavor is this one? Avocado. Okay. Avocado. What makes it dirty? Like, why is it called dirty ice cream? <laughs> I'm not sure. Bakit daw dirty ice cream natawag? Because it's in the calendar. No, it's not He said because it's on the streets. Ah, uh, but it's just it's just normal ice cream, right? Yeah. Oh, so it's just like he'll just get a scoop yeah. and do it in a cone. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Do you want one? We'll, uh, we'll grab a, a, a dirty cheese ice cream, please. In a, in a cone? How, what size do you want? Oh, yeah, we'll go the uh, big size. Do you want to try it in the, in the bread? In bread? Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's do it in bread. Yes. Uh, like it? Yeah. I've never, I've, I've never had ice cream in bread before. Yeah, it's good. It's good in the morning. So when uh, I was telling Roy that I had this trip planned to the Philippines, he wrote me a list of all these things that uh, I should try, all the famous foods here, and he said, dirty ice cream. And I was like, dirty? Why is it dirty? But this is, this is going to be cool. This is an ice cream sandwich, a cheese sandwich, basically. So he gets it in there. There's one, two, three pieces. And it's kind of uh, just like that. All packed in to one. You can get it in like smaller cones, big cones. I'm, gl I'm glad you said the bread. 
Hi, do you want the avocado or the cheese? The cheese has a little bit. Yeah, we have a bit of cheese. Yeah. Cheese yeah. then. How much does it cost for? Twenty. Twenty. So like forty cents or so. Yeah. He's loading it up. There's a lot of uh, ice cream in there. <laughs> you need a big mouth there. Yeah, but it's cool. It's just like on this little bicycle stand. Usually they stroll around. Yeah. Thank you so much. So here we have it. Ice cream in hey. Sorry? Yeah, first time. I'm loving it. Amazing country. So here we have it, the ice cream sandwich. Ooh, look, it's, it's steaming. I've never had ice cream in like a bread roll before. So so there's this is the cheese one. Yeah. And what flavor was this? Avocado. Avocado? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, let's get a big bite of this first. Mm. Oh. That is the weirdest combination of textures <laughs> I've ever had in my life. It's not every day that you're eating ice cream from a bread roll. So you have this like, yeah. the bread roll is super soft. Look at that. And you bite in. And I think like, I'm used to having, you know, meat or like cheese in a bread roll, not ice cream. So it's a really interesting um, combination. So let's get the avocado in there. It's so weird biting into like a sandwich and it being like frozen cold. Yeah. But it's uh it's really refreshing. It's so hot you can see. I'm sweating like crazy. This is the perfect way to uh, cool yourself down here in the, the heat of Manila. I'm sweating like crazy. It's so hot. We, we were in the sun now we're in the shade. But this is the perfect way to combat the heat here in Manila. Mm. Very good. I approve. First time eating ice cream in a sandwich. That, that's like two things that I never thought were possible. Could you ask him how long he's like been selling ice cream for? How long? Very mm. long. Twenty years. Twenty years. Wow. Twenty years. And he's in this same spot, or he moved? Dito lang. Oh, me ikot ka? Ikot. Ikot. Ah, it's going around. Wow. Very delicious. I was expecting the cheese flavor to be like really cheesy, like a cheese paratha or something like that. But it's kind of, it's very subtle. It hasn't got like an intense cheese flavor, which is nice. You know, you don't want to be biting into ice cream and thinking you're biting into a block of cheddar cheese or something like that. But I approve, I like it, it's really good. All right, last little bite here. Let's um get it in the gob. So good. Very good. Very good. How do you say how do you say delicious in uh Masarap. Masarap. <laughs> how much did you say it was? Like 20. 20. Oh wow. I don't I don't know how Australia. That's 50. Australia. Yeah. The purple note, that's a hundred. There you go, that's for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye. See you. <laughs> Dirty ice cream was not what I was expecting. Yeah. It actually is quite clean and tasty. <laughs> when you when you were writing the notes for me uh, before I came here, I was like, what the hell? Dirty ice cream? Do they like put like dirt on it? <laughs> or, like, or like chocolate that looks like dirt? But it's just literally uh, normal ice cream. So pretty, uh, f pretty good first uh, experience eating the dirty ice cream here. Hello. <laughs> We are we're kind of just walking around the back streets here of uh, the Chinatown. So many like industrial places. You got people. Um, that's just called a tricycle, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was in one of them the other day. Super fun to get around. Uh, but here they have all like the fabrics and whatnot. You know, all the plastics, the fabrics. People sewing. Hello. People are so friendly here, guys. Seriously, you say hello, they're willing to have a chat, which I love. Hey brother, Kamustaka. <laughs> Kamustaka, brother. Are you good? Thank you, it's great to be here. <laughs> See, everybody's so friendly. I almost, I was walking here, there were a few people walking that way, so 
was walking here and I always tripped over a dead cat. Confronting. I don't know if I'll put that in a video, but obviously if you see this, I did. But that's the first time I've ever seen a dead cat. There's so many really famous places in this uh, old China area. And these people are like lining up for the waving Wei Ying fast food and that's like one of the most famous uh, Chinese restaurants here. And I don't want to line up but apparently they also have a takeout one here so this line is much shorter and you can get the exact same thing uh, on the menu that you want except it's just like takeout so you eat it on the street or take it back home. So no worries. I'm really craving dumplings so oh, thank you so much. Here. Do they have dumplings? Yeah, here. Ah, oh, nice. Frozen dumplings. Oh, frozen. 14. No, frozen. We want them cooked, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is all... Surely they're not frozen, right? Yeah. Is frozen just a... Frozen chicken feet. Half kg. 300 uh, pesos. That's around like $6. Oh, here. Fry, the top fried dumplings. 7 pieces. 220. Let's try that. Hello, how are you? Kamusta ka? Could I please have um, the fried dumplings, please? Fried dumpling, yes. twelve pieces. Yes. Uh, what it. what uh, what is inside? Uh, pork shrimp with mushroom. Okay, I'll try that. Alright. One order for takeout to go. Yeah, to take out, please. So this is like the same restaurant that all the people are lining up in. Uh, there's limited seating in the other one, so obviously that's why there's like a massive line. But uh, very good. Masarap. Sorry? Dumpling. Masarap. Masarap. Oh yeah, that means delicious, right? Masarap. Let's hope they're masarap. <laughs> so he goes off and he's gonna put in the order. Have you ever lined up for like no. two hours to eat food? No. I don't know what crazy people would. I'll use food panda. Food panda. <laughs> Is food panda big here? Yeah. That's like the main, the main thing. Panda and yeah, I'll go over to where he put in the order. But all these people lining up for a seat. It's so busy. Yeah, we'll go in. Or I'll, I'll try and sneak in. Yeah, there's like five seats really. So that's why there's like such a big line because, you know, once you line up for two hours, you're not just going to get in there and eat for five minutes. You're going to take your time, make all the other people wait, just like you did if you lined up as well. So let's hope uh, the dumplings take away, come quickly, and then we can eat them on the street. It's a really cool area where I'm staying. Optin Street, I believe is the name. I'm staying at like the Ramada Hotel, and it's just like perfect central to everything that you need. The beach is like 10 minutes away. You have all these really cool like places that you can eat at on the side of the road. It's just like really good vibes, really high energy people are just happy around here so good choice I'd, I'd recommend staying around this area I plan I, I had three nights here originally but I think I'm gonna extend uh, because I'm really like loving this area it's just you know the, the Chinese culture all the beautiful lanterns all the beautiful uh, artworks and everything it's just a really beautiful part of Manila this area do I pay now or uh, yeah okay you can pay now Thank you. So why why is this place so famous? Yeah, this is a famous restaurant. This is an authentic restaurant now. Authentic Chinese yeah. restaurant. And how long? You have the best dim sum here. You have the best dim sum? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Wait, the dim sums are different to the dumplings? Actually, they, yeah, they have different. They are uh, different. Classification. Oh, of, where are the, where are the dim sums? We have shomai, we have, we have hafao, oh. we have shark skin dumpling. Yeah. These are all dim sum. All these are famous. Yeah. Ah, dim ah. Best seller is shomai. Damn. Show my end half What did you order? I ordered uh, seven. You ordered fried dumpling. But one of the best sellers also. Oh, the fried dumplings yeah, are good? and the fried one. But yeah. That is included with our best seller. For the best seller. Half. Actually, this is seven pieces, no half. For dumpling. Oh, wow. How big are they? 
How big the size? The uh, I can like. Mas malaki sa mas malaki sa normal ton compare sa one ton. One ton is look like this one. This one. This is one ton. Oh, those are the dumplings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. The dumpling is more much bigger than. Oh really? So these are the dim sums. Yeah. Ah. This is also one of the. Yeah. Amen. So these these are the dumplings. This is the dumpling. Oh. And the they prank. come they come cooked, right? Yeah. I don't I don't eat this. <laughs> and this is frozen. Actually, this is pretty cooked. I'm pretty cool. And so what what is inside? Uh, pork shrimp and pork mushroom. shrimp and mushrooms. Yeah. Ah, oh, very good. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. All right, here we have the goods, everybody. The dumplings. Wai Ying fast food. All right, I might get you to hold that for me, sir. Safe on the street. All right. I will pick this up, everybody. I'm just gonna uh, put it to the side here. But I guarantee I'll pick it up. I promise. So we have all kinds of things in here. We got limes. I guess that's soy sauce, Roy. I think. Yeah, that's soy and sauce and chili. Ah, oh, chili as well. All right. Well, I understand why everybody's lining up now. It's because this is going to be difficult to eat on the side of the street. But you guys get the first look. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that actually looks damn good. So let's leave that to the side there. We'll open up. This is what sweet chili sauce. Yeah, I'm sweet chili. Let's um. Oh, you want to eat there? Yeah, maybe maybe, maybe they allow it. Yeah, I'll eat inside. It's okay if I eat here. All right, we're making we're making use of all surroundings. So here we have the sweet sauce, I believe. Oh, that's nice. But here we go. All the fried dumplings. They're about what size of a golf ball, maybe. Uh, inside, he said there was pork, prawns, and mushrooms. So let's just try one that's super hot and they smell super delicious as well. But let's just try one without all the sauces first and I'll show you the insides. Wow. That is actually really good. Masa rap, that's the word, right? Masa rap. Oh my God. On the inside, you can see the bits of pork there. Super juicy. You can see a couple of the prawns in there as well. And I think it's all surrounded uh, with mushrooms in there as well. So let's get a bit there. Dip it in the sauce. I have a friend outside. What was his name again? Fiolo. Fiolo, he's yeah. a famous actor, right? Yeah, famous actor. Fiolo, he came up to me uh, and I was like, brother, I'll, I'll give you some, uh, some dumplings after I try them and make sure they're worthy of your uh, of your taste testing abilities. I don't yeah. know. Anyway, this is dripping everywhere. Let's get it in. Wow. The pork is so tender. So delicious. A little bit salty. But the sauce, that adds like a whole different flavor to it. You get the crispy friedness and then the sweet, a little bit of chili on the side as well. That is really good, but what I'm most excited for is after we get this next bite in are these crispy bits. I absolutely love the little bits of crisp, like a samosa in Pakistan. You all know how much I love samosas, especially when they're fried, like right on the street here. Um, but I love the corner bits the most because it's so crispy, so amazing. And this is the best part. Thank you. Wow. Have a look at these guys. Thank you. Super crispy on the side here. Thank you. Did you want to try one? Yeah, that's true. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot, eh? <laughs> so, um, in the Philippines, like pork and pig is a very like popular dish, right? Yeah. I see, because they have like, there's this dish that's famous in uh, Cebu, which I'm visiting in a few days. That's called lechon, and it's literally just like it's. It's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Lechon is literally like baby pig uh, on a rod, on a stick, and it's just roasted over hours and hours. So super excited to try that in Cebu where it's like really famous. But I'm going to um, offer our friend Paulo some of these. It will take him out to him. Where's he going? Paulo! 
Follow. Follow. <laughs> Follow. Right. Yeah, we have some dumplings for you. Okay. There you go. You can have all of them. Okay, okay. Very good. You want to try? I try. Taste test. Taste test. Try one. Though. Try one. Try one. Try what? Very Come good. Oh, I got some sauce okay. for you as well. You like? Delicious. Masarap, masarap, masarap. <laughs> for you. <laughs> All right. Very good. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs> All right. Do you have a bin that I could use, please? So delicious. Thank you so much. Have a masarap, masarap. Very masarap. Have a great day. See you, Paulo. <laughs> oh, delicious. Nothing better than a bit of fried food uh, on the streets of Philippines. I absolutely love it here. All right, guys, so that's the restaurant we just ate at. All those people are waiting to go inside and get a table, but I mean, the smart way to do it is get takeout and just eat on the street. Much better way. You get a local experience as well. Um, but we're going to finish up the video here, everybody. We're going to be exploring uh, Manila today, and I think we might come back here uh, tonight when all the street food comes out. Apparently in the evening time, it's hustle bustle, especially on the weekend here. So it's gonna be a, a good old fun time. Well, there's all like street food carts all along here, picking and choosing whatever we want. But thank you so much for watching everybody. As always, chase your dreams. And we'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.